Hello and welcome back to the 2021 Big Rip Classic. We're on the back nine. Uh, James, tell us about the golf we've seen so far. It's been pretty fire so far. Yes. Um, we got three four downs and we got a three down. Um, but these guys are keeping right next to each other. Yeah, it's been a really tight race. Um, like you said, Chad, the only one not tied up, but he's still putting on a show. He took a double bogey, so he's getting a lot of birdies. And uh, We've just seen some really almost some they almost made a bunch of big putts is what i'm trying oh to they, they were all hitting metal and we, i think there was a couple of good ones in there so i'm i'm hoping to see like a 60 footer on this back nine i want to see some metal drawn off the drive off the tee off the tee hopefully on this next hole somebody goes for it and just hits metal yeah this um the hole that's coming up here is is pretty beefy um of a hole yeah um it's a par four 640 feet Lots of feet there. That's a um, lot of feet. It's the levee shot. Yeah. Like you said with the earlier hole when you think of Eagles Landing. Yeah. This is another one of those holes. So Absolutely. Um, a lot of people are throwing the hyzer out here to the right, letting it crash into the bottom of the hill because you do have OB right there in the swampiness. Right. Um, I think they bought it up a little bit this year too. Yeah, probably. I think that's accurate, yeah. Um, and then easy up shots, you're either throwing a little mid-range turnover into the green or throwing a forehand into the green. Yeah, and this is a fun one because you're on top of the levee. You feel like you're on top of the world. You can just smoke your disc out there, but it's got to finish left. It has to. You don't want to mess around with that OB. OB. See, this looks pretty ideal. Just a lazy hyzer. You hit the hill, and then you work with what you got after that. Oh, man. Slow down. There we go. And all this, that grass scared. on the side hill is pretty thick, so you don't see a whole lot like hit the hill and roll out of bounds. And I think Munn said that they actually cut it a week before the tournament. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So imagine if it wasn't cut. <laughs> also, shout out to Mike Munn. That dude is a legend. One of my favorite tournament directors of all time. He's the one putting on this event. I mean, getting the sponsors, Discraft, Grippy Q, he had Ledgestone banners and, um, you know, tents everywhere. He just, he's a man of the details. Getting Benjamin in the... Um in the, the tournament here so he can just smash that drive that he just Dude, smashed. that was, a, yeah, that was a crush. And see, that's like, you know, you smoke it, but you gotta throw a hyzer. Yeah, because you got all these... Psych, I take it back. You, you throw a flex shot, too. Oh, that wow. looks pretty great. Because you had all those finesse holes at the beginning. Right. And then even with the, the little valley shot and then the downhill, and then you just get to come here and open everything up. What a crusher. Yeah, Tony probably going destroyer i would assume but yeah just laying it up to the levee yeah an easy up shot and, and yeah if you're a forehand player like you really don't have to get that much off the drive you throw a little forehand like this he's just gonna have it hit that backstop and just be parked what a legend just a little turbo tap in from there and boom chad we got the sleeves rolled up so you know it's time for business flipping it over and letting it die in Left a little meat there. He's hungry, though. He's hungry. Chad's, yeah. He's a vicious guy, you know, on the course. Hungry for birdies. Fried oh, up. No. And yeah, there's, I mean, that's the one tree. Oh, oh don't yeah. do it. That seems like a terrible roll. Now he's going to be right behind that tree. Maybe. Hopefully not, but it's like the one tree you got to beat. So you, that's why the, the sidearm is more preferred, just because... Yeah you're not going to mess with that so much. When you crush a drive like that, the upshot is just yeah. so simple. That's Yeah, that's the risk-reward right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, don't. No, 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 don't turn away. Okay, it stopped. Okay. Oh, man. Look at him over there, scratching his head like, what happened? Or put it into a hill. So you going stepper? You know who that reminds me of? Just step putting away every chance that you get. Oh, Chad! Yikes. Okay. Wait, who does it remind you of? Matt. Good old Matt Rothstein. Mmm. I love that guy. Shout out Matt, Matt Rothstein, dude. Dude's a legend. Here's what. Here's just a piece of trivia about Chad. He got his rhino tattooed featured in the PDGA magazine. Really? Yeah. And it had a bunch of people's disc golf tattoos, and it had their names for all of them. And his name was Charles Sherbert. So, Charles is his, 
you know, real name, his government name. Okay. And whenever he plays poorly, that's Charles. That's Charles. Now, I don't want to just, because he took a high number there, start calling him Charles. But if it starts to trend that way, we might have to refer to him as Charles. He will be Charles. He will. He knows. He's aware. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Hole 12, this is like, um, this is one you can attack a couple different ways. I think we're going to see a lot of hyzers. Um up this right side and have it swing into the basket with like right under this limb, under the limb. That look that looks kind of crushed. Oh wow, he's uh he's way back there. Yeah, but you also have this forehand play. Do you go forehand? I do. Um, the only problem with the forehand is the group of trees on the left. There's a couple that are tucked in on the skipping oh. side there. Oh. Hmm. See, those are the ones you want to beat, and right. you kind of you kind of have to pump it. Yeah, that's why me just, you know, preferring a backhand mostly. Do you find it difficult to match the grade of the hill to get the skip up to the basket? Um, I'm trying to hit right. Oh, he doesn't like it at all. I'm trying to hit right at the crest of the hill, right? So, like, um, almost on the other side of it uh, with, like, a splice. So, something real stable is skippy. Okay. And it's been pretty, pretty effective, but... I do like the forehand play. It's just I got less trees on the right side, so that's why. This so looks... Chad, oh wow, so he hugged it a little bit tighter. Yeah. Yep, and that's the one tree that he went around. It's the one tree you got to beat. Oh, Go. Tony. Oh. oh. That was in. Man, warm he went... the old rotator cuff up. <laughs> you got to warm it up. It's like a crank. You just crank it up. Oh. oh yeah, not quite. You can get rollaways on this hole. Yeah, you can see the ground is like pretty fast, real skippy. Stepper, cash. This man is money with the steppers today. He likes the steppers. I mean, what? He's probably two for three, three for four. I think he's three for four. That's pretty good. Pretty good odds. Oh, another fake out. That's three, folks. <laughs> three fake outs for Chad. If he can hit this, we're calling him Chad. All right, he's still trying. Oh, yeah. Good bird, Chad. Chad is anti-pars today. It's either birdie or bogey. <laughs> I mean, I was going to, yeah. I mean, yeah. I was going to leave it up for them, the audience to kind of figure out what yeah. other numbers he was taking. Oh. But, yeah. Sorry, folks. Whoa, from a knee turbo? He's that just is, showing off at this point. He is. He's showing off at this point. That's not even real. Oh, hole 13. Um, this whole fairway is on a grade. Yeah, and correct. Most people are going to throw a uh, flip up mid range, something that's going to be dead straight. You want to hit this right hand side gap, um, unless you're throwing the forehand. Obviously, you want to go to the left hand side. Um, and you can kind of get a skip right at the sewer drainage here, whatever this might be. Yeah. Um, and it just flows right down to the basket. Yeah, D you go forehand here. I actually go mid-range, backhand mid-range. Oh, yeah. it must be a backhand mid-range shot then. I've seen... It's just too tight on the left-hand side. Yeah, and there's a lot more scattered trees. So you can hit your line just how you want and still kind of hit something. And so sometimes on a hole like that, I'll opt to something oh, that So this I this is control. what you have to worry about is the kick to the right because you have Don't. a road that's OB. Get out of the way, tree. Okay, he's in. That's a okay. tough place to be. But he's behind just like a... 30 foot high wall of trees and it's it's thick yeah it's like putting through a cinder block wall basically uh oh chad turned it over just a little oh. bit or charles charles did no he's chad he's chad he's still chad yeah, yeah okay yeah he bounced back with a birdie we're gonna keep it chad looks like he's going fairway here just smooth it right at the gut it's like what james said just as long as it goes straight you just gotta have <laughs> it go real straight and hit your line real nice Oh, just a little too high. Yeah. How long do you think this arm is? Let's see. I wonder if he's is Tony going forehand. Got to right. Oh, of course he is. Forehand roller. That'd be crazy. I feel like he's gonna throw something under stable and have it flip over to the left. Mm. No, he's he's throwing oh, the like a flex. Hmm. 
The only problem with the forehand too is the other problem is skipping into that wall. Yeah. yeah. But this is not like a must get by any means. No. You know, like you birdie this, you're kind of hype. And yeah, I don't have like the the numbers in front of me of like how this played according to like you know like the hardest on the course, but yeah. it's got to be up there for one of the ones that played you know at or over par. Oh, we're going grenade from Alex. Looks like a pretty casual grenade. He didn't let go super high with it. I'm not sure that needed. Okay, here's Tony's drive. No hat needed for this one. Oh no. Yikes. Yeah. Okay, it's not that bad of a spot. But you want to give that a bid or at least just have a tap in. So this is not ideal for Tony here, but especially since oh wow, it looks like he's stretching out a lot. This might be very very uncomfortable for him. Oh no man, that's unfortunate. That tree must have been just in the line of sight. I mean that wasn't that far, but it looked like he was very obstructed. So. Unfortunate there. I like Alex's putt. The way he just kind of pops it with his wrist yeah. from close range, it seems very just easy. So this hole actually averaged 3.24. Okay. A little bit over. Yeah, that's sort of what I was thinking. Just because you're not going to have a lot of birdies to counteract like this unfortunate bogey that, yeah. that Tony's going to get. And that's something so close, you'll see. Man. We got Noah Prima here on hole 14. He's throwing a high hyzer. Ah, that didn't land mm. in bounds, unfortunately. So he's showing you kind of like... I don't want to say what not to do, but that's the danger, right? If you're going to backhand hyzer, you got to stick it on this skinny piece of land here. A lot of people would throw a forehand skip off it's, the road. It's a demanding shot yeah. off the tee, for sure. And then this approach, I mean, if you land in bounds, it should be a routine hyzer backhander forehand to this green. It's pretty big, you know, and you should. It's, it's that a massive away. island. Yeah. It's, it's the Galapagos of disc golf islands. So. Yes. And this hole is attackable on the drive if you want it, but I don't think. Look any at the of these late flip on it. that, dude. Wow. What is, I wonder. I really am curious to see what he's throwing there, because that was like he threw it hyzer at the road, and that thing just came all the way in. That was a beautiful shot. Go for it, Chad. Don't look at the camera. Focus on the shot. No, he's looking at the camera. That was a look of like Watch I'm this. about. To, yeah, <laughs> this is on the green for eagle. Psych, it's just oh, it's just a layup. Stick. Oh, it's got a stick. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah. And the hole is only 560. So if you break that down, you just throw like a 300 foot shot off whoa, the whoa, tee. Whoa, 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 whoa. For you, it's only 560. Well, okay. no. <laughs> but I'm saying if you break that into two shots, your second shot isn't going to be that far. No, not at so all. So you really you want to just get the first drive inbounds. That's the first first objective there's the forehand play perfect so that scares me because i throw a forehand too mm -hmm. the grass is actually it's pretty skippy yeah. if you throw it you you have to throw the spike yeah so throwing too flat like this you can see how it gets that Chill. skip and then yeah. it's i mean ob is right there yeah very true and then the other scary thing with the hyzer is like if you don't come in bounds you're ob immediately and you're in a lot of trouble but just like you said, Tony broke this hole down. Oh, no. Oh, he came up short. And this actually makes sense because I saw Tony in this water later on today. He went in and he got that thing. He was out there for a while. That, was, that must have been his baby. One I of the feel eagles. like that was that orange disc he was throwing like on the last it, I think I'm pretty drops. sure that's an eagle. Okay, you're probably right. Give us a, give us a little shout out if we're wrong, Tony. Let us know. In the comments below. This guy's just a backhand specialist. This man is saucing everything. <gasps> oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so close. That made me come out of my chair. Oh my goodness. That would have been the best two ever. Man, that was so good. A little forehand approach from Benjamin. Light work. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, man, he made this hole just look like a backhand, just an easy backhand, backhand. He's is, got, he's got a solid game, man. Oh my god! Tony wondering it up too. Sheesh. He's like, you're not Everybody. the only one that can get close. <laughs> I did not know that was the tone that Tony. There we go, Chad. Getting the birdie, the turbo for the bogey. Unfortunately, turbogey. Turbogey. You see what I did oh, there? Oh, we're getting that on the shirt. I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Counterspin, Turbogi shirt, it's coming soon. Or you could be going for a turkey and then you get a bogey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop. They're dropping this Thanksgiving at a Walmart near you. <laughs> <laughs> Any dollar store near you. You can get the Turbogi shirt. Costco. Costco shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, right. Hole 15. This one's pretty fun. Um, you kind of get the launch on this hole too. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a big turnover for the backhand players. Um, it's a it's a full yeet for the forehand players. Yeah. You have these two trees to beat here. Um, if you're throwing the ante, you want it to flex right in between those two trees or on the back side of this one. Um, and then for the forehand route, I think the low route you get it to skip up, get yeah. close to the circle. That way you have a putt. It's pretty hard par three. Uh, yeah, it's definitely yeah, definitely a hard par three. This is another one that I would say probably doesn't play, definitely doesn't play below par. Probably at par a little bit over. So three point two one is what this one averaged. Yeah. But gettable nonetheless. It just takes you know a very very good drive. What? See the the trees there. You have to push past those. It hits the green solid trees. And it yes. Kept flying. Chad showing off that rhino tattoo that got him in the magazine. We can kind of see it. Oh, his sleeve's coming down. But yeah, it's a rhino running through a disc golf basket. Just like this drive's running through the trees here. Dude, just careening through the trees. And I mean, that's a long look. And that's basically all you can ask for on the soul. It's like, oh, give me like a 60-footer. I'll take that, you know, try to run it. Benjamin Fulford going with a forehand. Right yeah. at the tree, just yeah. like Chad. How far is that tree from the pin, you think? I think it was... I want to say close to right at 400. Hmm. 390s, maybe. I'm saying, no, in relation to the pin. Like oh, to the pin? Yeah. Oh, I think you're probably around 65. Okay, yeah. 55, 65. This man. And there is kind of a drop-off, like just a small slope behind it to where like if if like chad were to throw this like over the basket and heiser you can have like a pretty long comeback or pretty fast oh, oh my god he just stings it off this man okay Come on. if we don't get one 80 footer i'm gonna be so mad here it is <gasps> maybe do it oh, oh my gosh <laughs> they're so close all right we got one more chance here benjamin do not let us down Look at that beautiful little flower right there. <laughs> like Horton Years who living on that flower right there. Uh -oh. Do it! Oh, oh my gosh! How did no one to this hole? It's super easy. I'm just kidding. It's not super easy. It averaged like 3.25, which is that. 2 1. 2 um, 1. Yeah, but I mean, that's sort of what you're going to see is a lot of drives get, you know, in like a long bid range and then. You know, you give it some good runs. We'll see a little tactical turbo from Tony here. Cash. Bingo. <clears throat> not <laughs> not going to say it. <laughs> All right, hole 16. This is um, this is a hyzer. I mean, you can throw a forehand hyzer. Do you go forehand here? I do go for it. Okay, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of airspace. I mean, you have three trees that you want to beat on the hyzer. You want to make sure you get left or right of that pine tree right there. And on the forehand, I think you basically, you just want to get it there. It's 370 yeah. uphill. That's yeah. a crash for a forehand. Yeah, it's, it, to me, it feels like it plays over 380. I would, with yeah. With the uphill. It's Maybe very even close much, to 400. Yeah, I, 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 I view it as about a 400 foot rip for me, especially if I'm trying to play it past that pine tree. Yeah. But you can go before it and still have a pretty nice look. Alex is definitely going right side of it here. Right on the back side. Yeah. And I think 
probably should know that that rough behind it is pretty rough. Oh, it's thick. So, like, if you actually just smoke your drive, like, super far, you can land in that and kind of be in trouble. Chad just couldn't get it quite turned over enough. But he skips up pin high. Right. And all that, I mean, that road over there is out of bounds, obviously. So, like, you don't want to yank it right. You know, yeah, you don't want to turn it over and, and go over the street. Because then you're having to play from back here. Yeah, and this is just not a hole that you want to bogey. You know, there's a... Oh, he went deep, deep. Wow. I thought he was going to make that. This, that man is strong. Wow. He's a strong fella. Dude's just launching back in. Speaking of tr strong fellas, we got Tony going a little Anheuser here. Get up there and skip. Yeah, and that's skipping. good. Oh, yeah. I mean, that should be what, 20, right, yeah. 26 right and a half. Right inside circle. Chad trying to be like Alex here and go and step. A little stepper. The sports shorts and uh, long socks just kind of got the Chris Dickerson vibes going. Ah, oh, that was a really good run. Oh, we're definitely seeing a step right now. If his pants were camo, he'd be Chris Dickerson vibes. Oh! oh just didn't quite get it enough. He got nubbed. Mm. Look, I mean, that stuff is... Man, Benjamin, has got he's got some rough lies. Where he'll just throw like it's a... kind of reminiscent of hole one. Or yeah. no, hole two. Both. both oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hole one as well. Yeah, he wasn't able to make that one either, unfortunately. It's tough out of there be a nice bogey for Tony to pick up. He's kind of falling off the pace, so, you know, tie it up with Chad here. Birdie. Yeah, did I say what did I said bogey. Oh, my gosh. Why would I say that? I'm sorry, y'all. That was a good birdie. How dare you put that on Tony? I would never. Tony, <laughs> I'm so sorry. There it is. And for par. We'll just have a couple of tap ins. Say, this is the point in the round where you remember, oh, there's 19 holes. You yeah, know? it gives you a little bit of relief. You're like, oh, I'm shooting kind of bad. Well, good thing I got a couple extra holes, just one extra. Or you're thinking, oh, I'm shooting kind of good. Yeah. Let's pile them on. Um, shout out to Brett. I get to say this on this hole. We okay. have our first dinker. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Um, 279 feet. It's a small hyzer. Um, you just want it to skip into the gap. It'll put you inside circle one. You can throw like any disc that's overstable on yeah, this hole. Yeah, any overstable disc that you want. Yeah, this one definitely playing under par, I would think. The thing to miss is is going early, because you do get cut off in the woods there. Yeah. Because um, it's it's a pretty little little cut in there. It is, yeah. And there's those two trees to the right that you also have to go inside of on your hyzer just like this yes. this man is textbook and part yeah perfect shot so yeah that's all it takes just a little straight up the gut light hyzer was that a punk out when chad got the ace on this hole oh i don't i didn't know chad aced this hole or was that mississippi states oh, i couldn't tell you Pretty sure I was Mississippi State. Oh, I do remember him acing, actually. Yeah, he got the skip ace on this one. That was the States, I think. Not this time, though, unfortunately. No, he kind of caught the edge of the stuff right there. What is this disc? It's overstable. And plastic. And, mm, wow, it's really That thing is a meat hook. Is it actually a tilt? No, it can't be. Unless Whatever it's, it is, it's it's stable. It's stable. It's a, it's a cinder block. Yeah, I throw mutant on this hole. I just launch it, and then as hard as you can. Yeah, I'm well, no, but <laughs> like eighty probably, maybe more, and it just hyzers before that stuff. He's getting juiced up. Chad, you better make this. We're running out of holes for someone to just hit something massive. Not able to do it. Unfortunately. It's tough run from out far though. And then you have the trees to worry about, so that kind of gets in your head. Yeah, that's not one you're like, oh, better make yeah. this 90 footer. But Alex picking up the bird there. He's actually, I mean, seven down. He's got a couple left. I mean, this, he's I putting heard. together a solid round right now. <gasps> no! Wow. <laughs> the disrespect. Just leaving him hanging. Oh, he's laughing about it. 
Man. Is that mind games, you think? Probably so. Wait, so who went for the And then he turboed right after that? And then he took a knee. I don't know what's <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> oh, hole, man. Hole 18. This is actually like a... It's kind of a funky hole. It seems straightforward, but... It's, it's a tweener hole. It's not a tweener, no. <laughs> for, no, not as in par, oh, but okay. like uh, distance-wise. Distance-wise. No, I would agree with that, yeah. yeah. So it's a uh, 340 downhill, and that long grass behind it is out of bounds. So a lot of people, pretty much everyone, maybe not Alex. Alex is going backhand, but a lot of people going forehand, and it's kind of like, it's real skippy down there, so you can definitely go OB, and... Look at the late flip. This guy. <gasps> oh my Oh gosh. my goodness. Whoa. This, Alex okay. needs to calm Jeez. down with his saucy backhand. Brister the sauce man. That's oh what I'm going to start calling him. Gosh. Sauce. <laughs> Dude's got the crispiest backhand. I mean, I've ever seen. he's throwing very, very nice lines. I think this looks like a, um, a zone, maybe. Which, if you got the zone play. That's got a hyzer. Yeah, that's the only thing. It's like you throw it on flex, it's probably not going to come out like a driver would. A lot, I know. I noticed that a lot of people throw on the forehand, they misjudge the distance. So they end up skipping early to the right. Yeah. Right at the edge of the hill. And then you you got the pine tree in your way that's by the basket. Right, and there's that one guardian pine. Yeah, if you go sort of like what you're talking about. This of, is exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Nope, that's parked. Right in front of it. Psych. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, sorry, Tony. Tony, he knows his way around the forehand and this course. He, it, yeah. He, he knows what he's doing, so probably just a little textbook. Yep. What 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 disc would that be? What would you say? You think I'd be like Was Firebirds? it the yellow one? Mm, uh, it's like it's a little tie dye one. Tie dye one. <gasps> Might be a Firebird. Great shot by Chad. I thought we were gonna have another ace run, but that this might be low. cool. Yep. Let's see. Ben. Fake out number four, folks. Oh. Five. We're just, we're just swinging with him. <laughs> oh, we hated it. I hated it too. That was that was a point and shoot, man. He yeah. was he was zoning for it. He knew, it, yeah. That's tough when you're like outside of circle two and all your, you know, card mates are like in inside of like twenty. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, you're like, man, I can just give a stroke to these guys. I better make this thing, and then. You put like too much pressure on yourself and you miss it and then you know man two backhand birdies on this hole this is, i mean this is not an easy backhand chad is doing chad things man he's moving up in the last yep. so this hole and then we got one more Good corner pocket. Yeah. You, you love to see it oh yeah, yeah. Turbo and they're Tony. dead center every time. Yeah, dude, just drop them the right thing. in. Um, hole 19. But wait, there's more. <laughs> For real. Um, this is this is a pretty crazy hole. Yeah. Um, you can choose to open up, kind of turn something over on the backhand, get it down the fairway, pass a little white sign there. Um, I know a lot of people are throwing the forehands for the upshot. Yeah. Um, and then off the tee, too, just something that's going to get into the, the open there so you can throw down the skinny fairway. Right. And it's just a fun finishing hole because you have the OB long and left and right. So it's just you got to land it on the green. It's a make or break hole, too. It is. Yeah, you go OB, take a big number. But maybe this is a buzz that he's throwing. Couldn't quite Dude's see just it. going hyzer flip. I mean, he threw it almost straight up and down, and it just Staying. flipped over. Yeah, yeah, that's a great shot. He can't he's, complain though. He's basically throwing forehands with him. Oh look, there's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on camera. I'm on TV. He's got a new orange disc. Maybe that's the same one, but hard to say. So the forehand crush play on this. I love it because if you if you throw an all hyzer forehand, <laughs> if you throw an all hyzer forehand and you mash it, it's it's coming down. Yeah, and it's going to be in bounds. Yeah, you're it's is you got to be it's it's bold going backhand on this one, but um, Chad and Alex both just landed it very nicely. Also, shout out to the man with the plan that you saw a second ago waving the green flag. He helped a lot of people find their disc. Um, he was he was a pretty good spotter overall. Yeah, and he has like a 1030 rated mustache. So. 
Shout out to that guy. You think he combs it? I don't know what his grooming routine is, but it looks great. <laughs> Chad, backhand, backhand, parked for birdie. He's an animal. I mean, that's... Here, here's another backhand, backhand. He's throwing the same buzz. If it's a buzz, I, I think it's a buzz. Oh, a little short. Yeah, a little short. That's a step putt, though. You know he laid it up there so he could go step putt. Oh, yeah. He's got Tony to. with the do-rag. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man. Oh, he's back with that. That thing was shining. <laughs> Glistening, bro. All right. He's got the birdie sweats. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. He's throwing an atlas on his approach. Let's just... Um... All right. Looking to get this in bounds. No, no forehand approach for this one. Interesting, but why? Why you need the forehand yeah, when you got the birdie sweat backhand? Yeah, easy, light work. Is he taking some relief? What's happening right now? There's a small puddle <laughs> in the fairway. Here you're getting closer. He's like, I am too bougie to play from that puddle. Oh my God. Going forehand. Ooh. Skip into the basket. Joe. Man, what a shot! Yeah. I actually, do the same play for the upshot. Mm, just a little. Oh, yep. here it is. I told you. He's gearing up. Step this thing right in, Alex. From the nine down. Oh, oh no. Dang. Oh, it's And the rollback? The disrespect from the basket. Oh. oh man. That's tough. He really wanted that one, too. Yeah, you want to finish around with the birdie here if you can. You know, it just feels good. I guess it was just the par sweats. I'm sorry. We got, okay, nice birdie. So him and Alex are tied, it looks like. We're going to see it to end the round? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't want it any other way, except with a birdie. Turbo for birdie, probably. But we'll take that. Chad. He's got, he had the turpar, so that's okay. Yeah, it doesn't work as good with the pars. Finishing out with the, with the strong last, what, two holes? Chad? Did he get the – did he get Yeah, the yeah, yeah, and he went birdie, birdie to finish. Yeah. So strong runs there. Alex giving a little relief breath there. Yeah. So here's our, our top ten. We got Joshua Patan shooting the course record. I believe it was like 1070-something, 14-under. Myself with a 13-under. Cameron Coglazer with a 12-under. And J.C. Rowe with a 10-under. But our card next round that we will be watching is Chris Downey. Unfortunately, Matthew Orm will not be on it. He dropped out of the tournament due to some car trouble. Uh, so we'll have Caleb Huber, Alex, and Benjamin Fulford for our next round. That seems like a great card. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. It's uh, that's that's a pretty strong card because uh, I know JC. I played a couple of tournaments with him, and he's he's a strong strong player. So yeah, yeah I'm excited. I really enjoyed that round. I enjoyed commentating with you, James. It was a good time. I enjoyed it with you too, man. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, it was all, right. all good vibes here. All right, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next round. Peace.